BC Hydro says smart meter data is protected through a specially designed communications protocol that controls access using security certificates and scrambles data using encryption. David, what do you say to that? You wouldn't want to know what I would really say to it, but let me just say that it's very easily to prove it's not possible. I'll give you two examples. Symantec, the company that supposedly creates the antivirus, their software was hacked and their code is out in the public domain. And when we talk about security certificates, the, the communication between two systems that confirms it's the right person at the other end um, one of the largest companies in the world, or two of them, were hacked, and both of their code has been distributed and their certificates have been broken. Those are all best efforts, and that's what I'm saying. I, I'm really not trying to make this a sensationalist approach or a conspiracy theory. I'm just saying one thing, and that's really what I'm on the line for here, is there is no security and the people at the higher levels, especially in the hacking community, and those that really have to make the key decisions, they're scrambling to do the best they can. But at the same time, they are putting everyone at risk, and that's what I don't agree with. We have to be absolute. Your guests that you'll have on after, they'll say, yeah, we've got the primary hackers out of the way, and we're doing our best efforts. But the point is, it's the 21st century. All of our information and our lives are at stake at this point, and no one will disagree. You'll get other people other than me to say it's, it's that important. There's no doubt that the power grid can bring down the country. The point is, until we are sure that they know they have us protected, stop the rollout. That's all. Let me get to some calls. Uh, Riaz, good morning. Uh, Bill, thanks for taking my call. Um, David, I, I understand everything you're saying. I'm just wondering, seriously, what, what's the point of all this? We don't have the right to refuse their installing the meter. No matter how much noise we make about it, they won't even tell us if we have the right to refuse the meter. So uh, what can we do about it as consumers at, at, at the bottom end of the, of, the, of the grid? Well, there's a lot going on in that area. You know, I'll state right now, when I was away a little while ago, BC Hydro came in and put a smart meter on the house I'm in. I'm officially asking them right now on air to take mine off. And if any of the media wants to follow up, I'll tell you just how difficult or how challenging or how simple it has been. We do have the right to take it off because under contract law, and I am not a lawyer, there are opportunities in that contract to ensure that if they are collecting information on me, that I have the right to have the security known about that information. And there are a number of other factors. I'm not here to argue the, the legality of it, regardless of whether it's legal or not. The fact is, if they are harvesting information about us, collecting that, and then not ensuring its security, I will also have to rely on others to bring motions forward to have it stopped. But what kind of information are you concerned about, David? Oh, my God, Bill. Like, again, let's just move it away from BC Hydro because the, the fact is, here's what happens. When a smart meter is on the house, it can detect what we call signatures or patterns of electricity use. So every time you turn on a light or a fluorescent light or your fridge, your stove, your oven, or whatever, it knows more than we've ever known before because what it's, what it's picking up is the how, why, and when you've used electricity. So if you're up at 2 in the morning and you turn on your stove or a light or walk to the bathroom, anything that consumes electricity has a pattern. Now, they don't immediately know what you're doing, but there are companies out there growing by the hundreds in Silicon Valley that do, value that do two things. Analyze the patterns and tell you exactly what the device was and how long it was on for and then do analysis of what is probably happening in this household. Now, I'm not saying BC Hydro are going to do that or any company, but there is a 100% understanding of, of what's happening when you're using electricity. Secondly, what most people don't understand, there's another technology in the smart meter, another whole subnetwork called SIGBI. And that network is for the future, but coming on strong very quickly. It's when we start to get intelligent devices in our home, and we know we're talking about coffee makers and fridges and vacuum cleaners that have chips in it with IP addresses so that you can control them through your iPhone. Maybe it's your garage door. Maybe it's anything. But they all radiate a signal. That smart meter on your building has a device in it. Some may claim they don't, and they don't, but anything a smart meter can or can't do is merely an upgrade. We're familiar with that with our computers. So you have a computer on the side of your house. But it reads all of the 
uh, emissions from all the smart devices in your home, and it collects that information. So now it knows the who, where, what, why, how, and when, and the function of every smart device you will bring in your home over the next five to ten years. Sam, I'm going to have to ask you to be quick. Sure. Bill, I'd rather call you back some other time than waste this call. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Ed, good morning. Ed, go ahead. Hello. Yes, go ahead. Oh, good morning. I've been dealing with uh, with BC Hydro since last fall when this, uh, when I first began to get really concerned, and I wrote to Greg Reimer because in a conversation with Steve's uh, with uh, the newspaper, the province newspaper, he said if people didn't want a smart meter, they didn't have to have one. And since uh, they've been in my neighborhood recently and installed them in all the houses except mine, and in a conversation with someone at Hydro who identified himself as Jamie, that's all he would tell me, he said I was on their do not install list. And I didn't know that such a list even existed before, but apparently I'm on it. So I don't know what that means. David, did you know that? Yes, there is a do not install list, and I encourage people to get on that if you are concerned. You know, one thing I wanted to say, the reason this interview came about, there's a, there's a video out there by a very smart, uh, brilliant guy in Vancouver, Josh DeSalle. The, uh, it's at the website, thepowerfilm.org. We're not going to fit a lot in. I know the time's almost over, but if they go to www.thepowerfilm.org, they can learn every single thing about smart meters and if they can have them removed, how they go about doing it. And as I said, I'm officially asking Hydro and I'm going to submit it in writing to take mine off. We'll see how easy it is. David, let me know. David Chalk, uh, if you're still on the line, uh, I have to break for the news headlines. We're going to talk with two people contracted by BC Hydro to try to make sure their system is not hackable. We'll talk to them, but also take your calls to them. Well, you heard David Chalk expressing serious concern about the vulnerability that BC Hydro may be putting itself at and uh, you at through its smart meter program. And uh, he claims that it is very possible that hackers could bring down the entire hydro grid by hacking the smart meters. Gary Ragsdale is an engineer with Southwest Research Institute. They consult with the utilities all around North America, and BC Hydro has hired the Southwest to do, quote, ethical hacking work for the Smart Meter program. Uh, Gary Ragsdale, good morning. Welcome to the program. Good morning. Thank you for having us. Give, uh, well, I'll also be talking with Nikul Jareth in just a moment. He is uh, the group leader with Embedded System Security Group, uh, ethical hacking of smart meters. We'll talk with uh, Nikul in just a moment. But what was, Gary uh, Ragsdale, what was your reaction to... Uh, Mr. Chalks. Well, I'm not. Uh, I'm not sure where he's getting all his information, but the systems that we work with with utilities are far better protected than what he's describing. So, are you telling me that he's wrong? That uh, that the system isn't vulnerable to to hackers? Well, we. When you say I'm not vulnerable to hackers, we need to qualify that statement again. If we're talking about uh, individuals or uh, organized crime or uh, terrorists or uh, nation states, those diff different gradations of hacking. Uh, the system at large is not e uh, easily hacked by anyone with uh, the normal resources of an individual or even uh, organized crime would find it very difficult to make their way in. He expressed concerns over nation states, and all of our countries are concerned about and protecting against uh, nation state attacks. But we're talking about huge resources, uh, large amounts of time, and those resources would equally be applied to other uh, critical infrastructure like communications and uh, finance, banking, uh, transportation, water distribution. So. It's the responsibility of every nation to protect those infrastructures, and we're taking uh, steps both at the government levels and at the utilities levels to build the protections in to protect against those kinds of attacks. Is part of what you're doing having people like Nakul try to hack into the smart meter system? Yes, uh, and Nicole can talk to some detail about it. what we do for our clients is we take the position of the hacker 
Uh, we uh, attack the system from every avenue available 